All right, this is a video for my e-fuel on my 7.3 PowerStroke OBS. Um, right here, it, all that is is just um, the switch to turn on the fuel pump. See, light comes on. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I just had it that way. I like it that way. So that way when I have my glow plugs warming up, uh, my pump's just not sitting there running for no reason. So, and then... <laughs> On the back of the heads. Let's try and get down in here for y'all. It's kind of hard to see, but basically I have a eighth inch NPT um, to a I believe it's a hundred and twenty degree six uh, A in, and then it's a barb fitting, and then it comes out goes down underneath my turbo and goes to this block right here and this was just a 3 8 three-way <clears throat> and then right here that's where I have my uh, I have a temperature uh, uh, probe in there because I also run uh, I run biodiesel biodiesel and waste vegetable oil so uh, the temperature is important <laughs> <clears throat> and then on this side, it basically runs up and does the exact same thing. Uh, you can see I have kind of a makeshift heat shield on there because it's right next to the turbo. But then it goes to the back of the head as well. <clears throat> and that one is also 8th inch NPT. And then that one's actually a 6AN and then it's a 45 to a barb. Um, it's kind of tight working in there, but you can do it without removing uh, your downpipe and whatnot. But then, like I said, you just have, it goes to that Y. And then on mine, I've got a heat exchanger. Like I said, I, I also run waste vegetable with uh, mine as well. So mine actually runs through there. That obviously you don't absolutely need. You can run straight from your Y <coughs> to your fuel pumps, which I'm about to show you. <clears throat> and then all it is is it's a super duty pump um, pretty simple it's your outlet your inlet for it uh, your ground and then your hot um, like I said it's just out of a super duty they're about 120 bucks local parts store and then I also have for my filters, I have a pre-filter right here. It's an aluminum head as opposed to the cast because if you're running your waste vegetable oil, um, the cast, there uh, a lot of them are uh, zinc coated, which is bad. And then, like I said, both, both of them are aluminum. Basically, you just kind of tie them in. I have mine underneath, so this is 10 micron. And then I think this is something like a 300 micron. Basically, you take catch any big chunks that try to get through your uh, pump for a pre-screen but right there that's pretty much it and then what you do is basically you just tie it in um, right after your switchover valve but it's pretty self-explanatory pretty easy like I said I've got probably 5,000 to 10,000 miles on the whole setup and I love it. And you can see here, I just did like a kind of a sandwich on it. Did some welding uh, for the bracket to come over. So it's it's kind of, it's mounted up like a lot of the, the fast air dog systems or whatnot. But it's nothing like that. But it works very, very well. Um, I have the BB shim mod done. And I see about 60 PSI all the time my fuel but when this filter starts to get clogged which this one i do need to change uh it'll drop down on hard acceleration to maybe about 40 psi and okay so right there is where i was just at and then i also have a tank in the bed can't see but it's it's about 80 gallons or so and something i did to kind of help if i ever need to pop filters on the road the to check them and whatnot is 
basically it's just a little shut the fuel off so very minimal fuel very minimal fuel loss as well when you're pulling the filter heads and then when you're done you just open it back up and good to go uh i guess just uh if you have any questions comments anything you want to want me to go in a little bit more detail wise uh let me know thank you